Hey everyone, alright, so as you can tell from the get up, this is going to be a uh, fragrance, uh, winter fragrance related video. So this is going to be my top 15 winter recommendation fragrances. Now, this is not a, it's not going to be a top 15, this is just going to be a 15 recommendations. Um, I'm going to be completely honest with you, um, chances of me wearing all 15 of these fragrances are pretty much slim to nil. Uh, there's just too many fragrances in here for me to actually wear. Uh, I'm probably just going to stick to my uh, starting lineup, so this is going to be probably six to eight fragrances in here that I would actually be wearing for the most part this winter while I'm testing out other fragrances as well, alright? So, let's get this started. They're in no particular order just because it is recommendations. So this one here, I actually just came out this year. It's a little travel at atomizer or a little uh, sample decant, if you will. Uh, I actually got this as a gift from uh, Man Loves Cologne, Sebastian, and then it's a uh, Terry Ugly Pure Wood. Uh, it's got some vanilla, coffee, uh, some woods. Uh, really nice fragrance. I was actually quite taken back by this one. It's actually quite enjoyable. This is probably one of the one that I'm going to be finishing off this winter, right? So that's Terry Mu Terry Mugley Pure Wood. This one here is actually uh, more likely going to be my work scent, and this is a slept on fragrance. Versace Man. It's got like a tobacco pipe sort of note. Uh, definitely a bit of a deep fragrance. Very nice. This is actually the original, um, but unfortunately, this one gets no shine or even no talk in the community just because uh, its little brother, uh, Versace Mano Fresh, has uh, just because he's so greedy, took all the limelight. So, but guys, definitely check this one out. It's very good winter fragrance. It's a Versace Man. This one here is actually pretty good. Uh, I think it's good for mm, pretty much all ages. It's kind of got like a bit of a youthful vibe, but at the same time it's got a little bit of a mature vibe because there is a rum note to it. Uh, but I find that the house, for the most part, or the brand, uh, caters towards the younger market, in my opinion, though. And that's uh, Le Coste Pour Rum. So it's got the rum note, it's also got a plum and a vanilla note. Uh, this actually lasts a very long time, especially for like Le Coste. I find that a lot of the fragrances are pretty much freshies. This one here, however, is not. I get about 8 to 10 hours, which really says a lot for that. So that's Le Coste Pour Rum. This one here is a very well-loved fragrance. I actually got this uh, decant here from Carlos, um, fellow reviewer. So and that's uh, tobacco, Tom for Tobacco Benin. Uh, this one, of course, gets so much talk, so much praise in the community for good reason. Tobacco, vanilla, uh, some of the other notes I'm not too sure, but definitely a, uh, a work of art from uh, Tom Ford. That's Tobacco Benin. This one here, you definitely have to have in your collection. If you're a collector, 98% chance that you have this one. For some reason, some people don't like it, but I don't know why. It's definitely a sexy fragrance. Gets a lot of praise as well. Women do love it. Yves Saint Laurent, La Nuit de l'Homme. It's got like some cacao, some chocolate, like a, like a chocolate vanilla sort of vibe. Uh, the dry down is a little powdery. It's very sexy. It's, it's actually a very versatile fragrance for the winter time. So that's Yves Saint Laurent, or YSL, La Nuit de l'Homme. This one here is a very deep, uh, dark fragrance. I think it's great wonderful classy fragrance. It's from Tom Ford, but it's not from the private blend, and that is Tom Ford Noir. Uh, this is a spicy oriental. Uh, I think that this is a wonderful and a great choice for formal outings. Definitely suit and tie, uh, tuxedo, just definitely a classy fragrance that uh, you really should look into. So that's Tom Ford Noir. This one is a casual kind of fragrance. Um, it's not bad. This was actually pretty much my work scent last year. It's probably not going to be my work scent as much, but I will wear it a little bit, just not as much as last year. Um, I love the house, so if you know me very well, I love Kenneth Cole, the brand, but I find that some of the fragrances, they do need a little bit of work uh, when it comes to the performance, but this one here is uh, Kenneth Cole RSVP. It's got uh, some sandalwood, some creaminess, uh, some sweetness, some woods. It's actually, surprisingly, it's not too bad, guys. It's very casual. I find that it's for the most part, just for like a casual kind of guy who just wants to smell decent in the wintertime, all right? So that's Kenneth Cole, RSVP. This one here uh, is another decant that I got from Man Loves Cologne. I actually got this one last year. Uh, this is actually a gourmand. In my opinion, it's definitely a sexy fragrance. It is unisex, so if you don't mind uh, the women wearing this one, I find that the women can pull this one off quite nicely, and that is Boyce 1920 Sushi Imperial. Uh, this pretty much to me smells like an apple crisp with some vanilla ice cream and cinnamon. Uh, definitely a really nice fragrance that uh, I find that you guys should definitely look into. This is niche, um, 
this house unfortunately does not get a lot of talk in the community and I personally think that this is a great fragrance for them. Um, just a great fragrance overall that I find it's a, it's a wonderful night out fragrance, uh, date fragrance, uh, just something like that, right? So that's Boyce 1920 Sushi Imperial. This one here is another niche. Um, I really thoroughly enjoy this one. It's from Serge Lutin and that's Chergui. Um, for niche fragrance, this is actually not overly expensive. I believe I paid $80 for this one. So which is, and it's a 50 ml I believe. Yeah, it's a 50 ml. Um, I find that's a great price because some of the niche ones that I've come across for like a 50 ml, I'm looking at like 140 or more. This one here is, is a great classy fragrance. Um, my friend said that older women do wear it, so that may be true, I'm not exactly sure, but I really enjoy this one. This is one that I'm going to be wearing actually this winter time. So that's a Chateau by Serge Lutin. This here, um, I actually really enjoy the house. Uh, this is a very slept on designer house, so they cater just to men's fashion and it's from Italy. So that is Canali and that is Canali style. So I get a lot of leather out of this one. There is no leather as a note, but I do get a leather type of feel. Um, I find that you can use this in the spring and uh, autumn. I think you can use it for the summertime as well, but not on a, like during the day. I think it's more uh, suited uh, for a summer night if you're gonna use it during the, the warmer months. But this is a great winter fragrance that's uh, very classy. It's gonna get you about five, six, sometimes seven hours. Uh, definitely a, a classy fragrance. This house doesn't get a lot of talk, guys. Um, definitely look into Canali. This one only cost me $20, and it's definitely a fragrance that I really do uh, suggest. And this is probably one that I'm going to be wearing as well, right? So that's Canali style. Uh, this is a very good date fragrance. Women do like this one. It's got some uh, some cacao. Uh, some of the other notes, I, I'm not exactly sure. I do forget. I did forget. So, but that's imported Armani diamonds. Uh, this is a compliment, compliment getter. I had a larger bottle that I ended up selling to a friend. Um, but this one here is definitely a sexy fragrance. It's great for nights out, um, for for uh, dates, uh, just for smelling different. Because this one's definitely not going to get a lot of talk for a lot of wearings. That's Emporio Armani Diamonds for Men. Now, this one's been out for a little while. Uh, if you don't mind smelling like, if you don't mind possibly, I should say, I should say smelling like another guy out there. It is a little popular and it's been out since I think it was 2004 or 2005. Uh, this is a travel a travel atomizer, so it's not the actual bottle. That's Armani Code. Uh, it's a uh, spicy ar aromatic. Uh, it's got some soft spicy as well. Uh, definitely, I think this is a good all year fragrance as well, but probably will shine more so in the winter time. So definitely look into this one. Women actually do like this one, guys, all right? So that's Armani Code. Uh, the last three, so uh, we're going to have one designer, one's an independent, I'm not sure if it's a designer or a niche. And this one here, I believe it's more of a, just a luxury fragrance, uh, an independent luxury uh, fragrance, alright? So let's go with the independent one uh, that I'm not exactly sure whether it's designer or niche. So um, this one actually is compared to Dolce & Gabbana by May, which is discontinued uh, long ago. Uh, so if you want that fragrance, you're definitely looking to spend quite a bit of money since it is discontinued. Um, but this one is actually, they say it's a clone. I'm not exactly sure because I never smelled the, the D&G one. But uh, this is a banger as well. Uh, and it lasts a long time because this is uh, an EDP or an Eau de Parfum. That's Christensen, New York. It's got some amber. It's uh, it's deep. It's layered. But it definitely dries down to a nice powdery vibe. Definitely very sexy. I get about 12 hours with this one, guys. Uh, so if you want to smell a little bit different than a lot of the other guys out there that, you know, that's going to wear Le Mal or, um, you know, Code or, or stuff like that, like the more of the popular winter fragrances, I'd say look into this one. Um, you can only get this one on Christensen New York, um, their website, or you can even get it on eBay. They don't sell this in the independent stores or, do, or I should say online like FragranceNet or FragranceX from what I was able to see. Uh, but they also don't sell these in department stores, all right? So that's Christensen, New York. Uh, so the last designer, whether or not it is a, the last, I'm not exactly sure about this last one here. But this one here um, is definitely, they say, holiday in a bottle. So if you're very familiar with fragrances, you already know what this one is going to be. And I believe it's their top seller. I could be wrong, but it's definitely my favorite from the house. And I do like the brand. That's Burberry London. It's got a port wine note that gives it that coniferous tree. 
uh, feel. It is balsamic. It is a really nice fragrance. It's very different from a lot of the other fragrances out there. Uh, very versatile. I find that you could wear this for going out, dates, office, school, uh, but also uh, formal settings. All right. So that's Burberry London. And the last one in this uh, list, all right, so to me, this is the epitome of luxury. Uh, it is definitely cheaper than a private blend or an Armani Privé. So it's from a car company, so that's the reason why I'm, I'm unsure whether it's niche or just whatever, all right? So this is definitely a classy fragrance. It's a banger. So the name itself is class. It's luxury. It's just pff, people with a lot of money, all right? Bentley Intense. So, if you want to smell very expensive, this is a great fragrance for that, guys. Um, I find it is a little bit different from some of the other uh, luxury fragrances or niche fragrances out there. Again, I don't know if this is niche or not, but uh, it's more more than likely an independent luxury. This one lasts a very long time. I get 12 plus hours. It is an eau de parfum. It's classy. It's dark. It's deep. Uh, definitely, uh, you gotta stand out. So this is a great fragrance for um, for formal settings, for you know, if, if you wanna go on a date. But I find because of it has that that sophistication, that maturity vibe. I think guys, 30 and up, you know, you can wear this if you're 20 years old. But I think someone who's maybe 30 and up may like this one a little bit more because it is pretty heavy and loud fragrance. All right. So those are my 15 recommendations for this winter season. All right. So guys. I'll see you later. Take care. Bye.